Past weeks have been really lovely while I rested and bonded with Daddy. Hold her bottom. Hold her bottom. Andrew brought me breakfast in bed every morning for the first couple weeks, and I was so excited to edit my home birth video, so I did a little bit of that on the side while she slept. It's definitely a full house now. With this many kids, the house was in a constant mess as I stayed near the bed to heal from birth. And it feels like we have a never ending pile of laundry to fold. I just did my best to let the house be messy and we snuggled with her every day, all day. And the hardest part might've just been the kids arguing over who gets to hold Dagny next because they all love her so much. I ate a lot of warming soups and salads and also took some tinctures to help with the afterbirthing cramps and we were so taken care of by the meal train that our friends set up for us who brought us dinners. We had pretty much all of our dinners covered for the first couple weeks which was so helpful so Andrew didn't have to make dinner as he was taking care of all of us. And after the first few weeks postpartum, I began working to finish the empowered pregnancy and birth course that I created with my sister which alongside taking care of all the kids took up all my time. So now that I have that finished, we are getting back into our regular routine and it feels so good. She's getting so big already, you guys. I'm trying to savor every moment because it goes by so fast. Oh my gosh. Mm. How? How could you be this cute? How? Oh my gosh. You guys, you don't even know. I'm so obsessed with her. So in case you missed this, we're doing a huge price promotion in celebration of the launch of this course now through October 9th. So if you're watching this within the first couple days after this video is posted, just enter the code LAUNCHPARTY at checkout for $100 off the course. Even if you aren't pregnant now but you plan to use this resource in the future, now is the time to get the course because we're never going to be doing a price promotion this big again, so take advantage now. Just go to ellenfisher.com or click the link below to check it out. I've never never been more proud of something I've created. This course is filled with everything that I wish I knew going into my first birth, my first labor and pregnancy over a decade ago, and it's filled with everything that I've learned in these especially last three labors in how to have a quicker, easier, and more gentle birth experience, and nothing brings me more joy than sharing this information with other women because it is seriously life-changing. <gasps> She's getting so big already, you guys. So we have some incredible contributors in this course, including Dr. Gemma Newman, an MD with specialties in obstetrics, gynecology, and pediatrics. We also have Haley Callahan, a wonderful doula friend of mine. She's donor certified, and she contributed to the sections in this course on how to have an empowered pregnancy for those choosing a hospital setting, because this course is not just for those who are choosing a home birth. It's for anyone looking to be able to have an empowered pregnancy, to choose the right setting and team that is right for them and we go into all of that in the course. We also have yoga instructor Michelle Mensch who contributed some wonderful prenatal yoga classes and birth meditation. And finally we have Heather McKean on how to rewire your brain for a more pleasurable birth experience which is one of the most important parts of this course. This course is centered around becoming informed and confident and choosing the ideal team and setting that's right for your empowered birth. Getting back to birthing wisdom to birth naturally, peacefully, and in your power. Supporting your body through plant-forward nourishment and prenatal yoga, rewiring your brain for an ecstatic, pleasurable birth experience, having an easier labor, getting baby into the optimal position, and the secrets to avoid tearing. And finally, there's almost everything you need to know postpartum and breastfeeding for a smoother, easier transition. We also go into nutrients of focus, healthy foods to embrace, how to have an easier labor guaranteed, and the information that made my last three births significantly more pleasurable, gentle, quick, and easy 
than my first two. It's some seriously important information that made the difference. And there's even a lesson for your partner if you have one how to best support mama for pregnancy, labor, and postpartum. So don't forget to take advantage now. If you're watching this video within the first two days of posting, enter the code LAUNCHPARTY at checkout for $100 off. We're never gonna be doing price promotion this big again, so take advantage now. There's only two days or one day left, depending on when you're watching this. How could you be this cute? How? I don't get it. Oh, did you know the highest picture that I made you is that one? They're so high. You're getting strong, huh? Yes, I can. Oh. Hey, let's go play this football. Hi, baby. We gotta get the older boys ready for homeschool group today. So we gotta prep their lunches, they bring their curriculums with them, and yeah, they go on a really fun adventure a couple times a week. All right, let's go make it, okay guys? Okay. Okay. And Scott wants peanut butter and jelly toast. Yeah, you got it. It's breakfast. I can make my breakfast. It's not in the into my Rebecca, normal routine. Rebecca. Just started doing like very light workout. Yesterday was my first time getting back into working out. And one of the reasons why I was so MIA this whole last month 
is not only because I was resting, but also because I was finishing the pregnancy and birth course that I was creating. I worked so hard on it, so many countless hours. I seriously, like almost every waking moment after the first few weeks after I gave birth was dedicated to working on the course and getting it finished. And I've gotten so many messages from you guys already and it seriously just makes me so happy and giddy and warms my heart so much to see you guys loving the course already. Oh my gosh. Okay, there. I have a good idea. Let's break off the leaves. Mom. Okay. So we can put them out of the baby chair. We'll it pretend must. we're giving her like a little shower. A little flower shower? Yeah, we're giving her a kid. Hey, hey. It is a beautiful day today. Isn't it, Scout? She's like such an crowd. angel, you guys. I can't even believe how sweet she is. Like, she's just so sweet. I still can't believe that that my birth was that birth like it was just so beautiful i can't believe we had a girl i still can't believe it like i i'm still in total shock i look at her every day and i'm just so happy that scout gets a sister like my sister is my everything like she is my very best friend in the whole world and i'm so happy that she gets to grow up having a sister are you putting petals on my head yeah <laughs> and you are such a nice big sister she loves you she loves when scout holds her huh scout yeah. Yeah, she does. Now I'm done with baby. Now I'm putting flowers on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you gonna swing? You got your shoes on now. Yay! Come, come on! I got my shoe on. Oh, you talking to Cosmo? Cosmo's so good at watching this. Cosmo, hi, I have a Cosmo. <laughs> Hi, you get in the shower. You go where? I go beach. You go beach? No. All right, let's do a little swingy boy. Ready? I got my shoe on. Oh, cool. All right, ready? One, two. Watch out, Scout. Three. Did you go in a, go for a dip? Yeah, so nice. Was it really cold? Oh, it was so good. It had filled back up, but it wasn't like rushing. Uh -huh. It had like. every single morning about five to six ounces of breast milk to donate to another mother in need and I'm always happy to do it. it brings me so much joy because if I were in a situation where I needed to supplement I would be thankful for donated breast milk and I've connected with a family that really needs it and I've been doing that with every child not the first one but after every other kid so second third fourth and now fifth so that's always my encouragement to any mother who's watching who has a bountiful supply of breast milk and is inspired to do so in a good situation where they have the ability and time to do so that's always my encouragement to pump and connect with other mothers in your community who are in need to supplement and so it's been wonderful i just i'm always grateful to be able to connect with different moms in the community um, when i'm pumping breast milk to donate <laughs> I'm gonna stay right 
Can I play with Mommy? So if you're watching this within the first couple days of this video coming out, definitely take advantage and use that code at checkout. The rivers they may run and the changes they may come.